Hi guys, welcome to the part 3 of how to implement social authentication in Django. This is the final video of this series. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to implement the template and how to use this entire project. So before getting started, make sure to watch the previous videos that is part 1 and part 2, especially the part 2 video because that is really important. Otherwise, this video won't really help you. So now let's jump into the code. So last time in the last video, I had shown uh, that we have to update uh, the site in the database. So I had missed something in that. So I'm going to correct that thing first and then we are going to start by coding. Okay. So I'm going to navigate inside the folder and activate the shell. So PPNV shell and then run the project. Okay. So let me clear this python manage.py mm, let's navigate inside this python manage.py run server and then we are going to go to this yes of course we have not created our template yet so that will be that error will be gone after today's video we are going to go to sites and over here we are going to update this and put the 8000 colon over here that is 8000 port over here so our mistake is fixed now. Now the next thing is we have to create a new view that will load a template and that template will be working on the index page that is index path. So let's first create our view. Okay. So we'll go inside the views and we are going to start by creating a new function. So I'll call it as index and this will receive the request. And then we are just going to return render, okay, render the template and that will be taking a request and then the uh, template name. So I will call that also as index.html and in this index.html there will be nothing, just the name of the user if the user has logged in, otherwise we are going to show a button to go to login page, okay, so that our in views is created, let's create a URL. So urls.py, uh, y'all can, otherwise y'all can just write that code inside this urls, but I'm going to be explicit and write it over here. So I'm going to take from django.urls, import the path, sorry, yes, path, and then we are going to import the views. So from demo, that is this project, sorry, this app, import views. Once this is done, we are going to create our URL patterns. Patterns will be a list and inside list we are going to put in the path and on blank path that is at index level, we are going to load the index function. Okay, views.index. So our urls.py is ready for the app. Now we are going to go to the URLs of SRC that is project and we are going to copy this one, paste it and on blank path, we are going to load the demo dot urls so our urls is finally ready now the final thing that we are going to do is create our template and uh, if you all remember in settings.py we have already created our template directory and we have installed it over here so we don't have to do any more configuration we are just going to go to the src and create a new uh, file inside template so i'm going to do is templates slash index.html I like bootstrap so I'm going to use some bootstrap template and I'm going to tell you all about the main code you all can co copy this or like you all can create your own bootstrap or any other design I'm going to just copy paste it so our skeleton of the HTML page is ready now and inside this card we are going to create a card body and then we are going to write our code okay so I'm going to create card body. Uh, this is totally bootstrap code. So if you all don't, if you all are not using bootstrap, then you all can ignore this. Otherwise you all can just continue. So first what we are going to do is check if the user is logged in user or not. So to do that, we are going to use if user dot is authenticated. So is underscore authenticated. Okay. So if user is authenticated, then we are going to say, uh, hi user thank you for supporting us and etc etc otherwise uh, we will show a button that will help that will redirect the user to another page okay so else 
and uh, in template we have to end the else if else okay so and if so first we are going to write this code so inside this we are going to create a s2 tag and inside this i'm going to say hi username okay so you for that user dot username is the key then i'm going to create another h4 tag and i'm going to say since we have completed finally the thousand subscribers milestone we have reached that so i'm going to say thank you for supporting y'all can say what you like and then i'm going to use some br then in else we are going to say hi guest okay so i'm going to again use h2 hi guest hi guest user and then over here i'm going to say uh please log in to continue and we are going to put in some url over here so for that we require a and href and we, what we are going to do is url will be please note what is the url account slash login slash okay so uh, if you go to src's urls you can see there is one uh, path called as account so that is what i have used and in accounts uh, urls that is this all auths url there is something called as login so that's why i have put it over here save it and we are going to run okay the project is already running so let's go to the browser and i'm going to show you we are going to go to the index path and i had logged in as admin so that's why let's go to the admin site and log out and we are going to go to the site as you can see since the user is not logged in it is saying me that uh, hi guest user please log in to continue and if i click on login okay there is small minor mistake if you can see i have put it as accounts and i'm using it as account okay so that's why this error is there so i'm going to use accounts over here and okay 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 before that we are going to fix it so we are going to press s and save it over here and let's go back to the code uh, sorry over here and if you click on login now it will redirect me over here and then if you see it is saying uh, please sign in with your existing third party account or like sign in below and if you notice there is something called as google because we have installed only the google provider so that's why this is there if i click on this it will ask me to log in using google and if i click on this it should take me to the consent screen or you can say the login third party consent screen and if you remember in the last video i had told you that uh, this is the app name that will be visible whatever we have given in the google console so that is same thing and everything from here you just have to select your email and it will log in so i'm going to click on uh, this email because it is temporary email i'm going to click on this and it redirected me back to home page why because in settings.py if you scroll down i have specified login redirect url so once user is logged in redirect him to this blank path blank path will load this index view and this is what it says and if you notice i haven't entered my name but it came and it came from google <laughs> i have to fix my name on uh, google account but yes this is what we got so now i want to show you all what all has been populated in the backend so let me log in as admin and we are going to see first of all we'll go to this accounts section where email address is present so over here if you notice my my email is present so that means uh, my email was populated over here next thing if you go to accounts here also you can see uh, my user is present and provider is google and all this extra data are present and if you go to the users you can see new uh, user has been created called as my name and password no password set definitely email is also populated and yes so this is how it populates all the data in the backend and like this we were able to finish up the entire project and also create our template and then finally able to use it uh there is something that i don't really want to go in deep into but then i want to show you all uh, how to do it so what i'm trying to show now is sometimes we don't really want uh, let's log out as admin and if we go to this index path and login 
we don't really want this page to be shown right we just want uh, once the user clicks on this login directly the google page should open or something like that so for that uh, this comes from the all auth package okay so what we are going to do is we are going to check all auth packages templates okay and we can use that template sorry we can use that templates in build uh, say tags and use it in our index page itself and from there we can directly use it so how we can do that is all auth django we are going to go to this and from here we are going to we are going to go to github okay so i'm showing you all how to do that i'm not really going to do that in the all auth inside this there must be something called as templates definitely and in the templates as you can see accounts is there and in accounts you can see base base html all these are there and then we have something called as login and logout and also password change everything is present so in login.html if you see these are the templates that they have used sorry uh, sorry uh, the tags that they have used so we can definitely use these tags in our uh, template but then over here you have to create template in the same structure as what it has been created over here like all auth inside template there will be a folder called as account then inside that login and you can modify this entire view and do it like how you want okay so you can use this so that is it guys for this video series and make sure to subscribe to our channel because i'm going to also create another series which will be implementing uh, along with the drf and not django so only using django rest framework sign up okay using uh, social authentication so make sure to subscribe for, for that and thank you for watching the video guys and see you in the next one